That's the legend of Geronimo's cave. All right, I've been thinking about this for a while. I, uh, last time I come up here, I remembered back, had to be, you know, 35 or more years ago. I came up and I hiked across the river. It was during the winter time, the river is fairly dry. And I'd always heard about this cave up here. They called it Geronimo's Cave. And I decided, man, I haven't been up here for years and years. I'd like to go take a look at it again. And uh, I got on the internet and I found some videos of some guys who had hiked up here to it. But they all do the same thing. You gotta wait until, they let the river down here in the winter time because of the irrigation. They shut the dam off and, and the, it doesn't flow anymore and you can walk across it. Or you can drive a buggy across it, and uh, or you can ride your mule across it if you want to. It's not quite dry enough yet to drive across or hike across or ride your mule across. You, I mean, there's places where you could probably do it, but it always bothers me getting in one of those bogs, you know, uh, and get your mule bogged down. But anyway, I thought, you know, why not see if I can go over the top and come down to it. So, what I did is I got my Onyx maps out. I got it on my computer. And what's really cool, well, I studied the terrain and there's some private property of some guys back in here and they live in there and they keep the gate locked down below. And they're kind of funny. They don't like anybody going through there. And you know, for the most part, I don't blame them. But I looked at it and I thought, man, I think I can go over the top and drop back down. And I looked at two different routes. And what's really cool with the Onyx maps, you can change it to 3D and you can look at the, you know, how steep the hills are and, and uh, the elevation, all that kind of stuff. So I looked at two different routes. I decided on this one. It's going to be pretty tough. You know, I could cross the river, but I, you know, I want to see if I can do it this way. Besides that, I got some dogs with me and you never know what they might find. So yeah, I got up. I didn't get up. I got up early. I didn't leave early. There's really no need to. It's only, I drove, I don't know. Probably about, it can't be no more than 10 miles from the house, maybe 15. Into the same big old canyon I always go to. But I saddled up old Big Agnes, my mule. I haven't rode her in a while. I haven't. I'm riding upward. This is the first time in eight days I've been able to ride. I, uh, had that heart thing they made me they they did a procedure on me what they call a catheter ablation and uh, they went in my heart and ablated these electrical pathways or PVCs or whatever it is I had but I wasn't supposed to do anything for seven days anyway here I go I'm gonna go on up you can see right there I got to go up not over I gotta go up this canyon. There's a saddle there, I'll bear to the left and go over through it, go down, climb back up. I won't go to the very top of the big mountain. I'll cut off to the left and fall down. And that cave is right over there. I, like I said, I've been to it before. So, we'll see. Look at that, there's a trail that goes right up through there.
think I can work my way right up the side of that mountain right there. Right up on top. And then it's going to flatten out. And then I'll hit a beeline for the big mountain. I think Geronimo was born like in 18, 26, 27, 28 or something like that. And then he, I think he, he, he was married young or whatever they do in their tribe to marry. But they were true nomads. They traveled all through Southern New Mexico and Southern Arizona and they lived off the land. And they moved whenever they had a, you know, whenever they needed, they got, they depleted their resources in that area, they'd move. So they were true nomads. And, but they used to go down into Mexico, down by Chihuahua and trade with a village down there. And that's what happened is they went down there and they were trading Went down there to trade for goods. I don't know what they traded for, but anyway, the Mexican army raided their camp while they were gone. The men used to go into town and then the women stayed in camp. Well, the Mexican army raided their camp and killed everybody, killed their kids, killed their, uh, their women, everything. So they killed Geronimo's wife and his daughters, I think, and his mother. That's how it started. Geronimo started, he didn't, uh, it was warring with the Mexicans. They didn't have any trouble with the, with the whites until later on, I guess they were, some kid had been killed and they blamed the Indians on it or something or been kidnapped or something like that. And then when they were negotiating the, the, the whites, the United States Army killed some Indians. So that started that. So then they started fighting with the, with the, uh, with the whites. And I guess I don't know about what their what their rich, what their culture is, how they marry or whatever. But they said that Geronimo had quite a few wives, and I guess had a bunch of kids. And the chief, they were the Cherokee Indians, and the chief was uh, Mangus Colorados, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not real sure. And then Mangus's son-in-law, I think, was Cochise. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read. So Indians always kind of fascinated me. I mean, they lived off the land they, and they were tough, double tough. Those are why you, why you wear shops or leggings. I wear leggings, look at them. They can scratch you up pretty bad. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go over the top of that. I'm gonna have to skirt around and try to stay off private property. I'll look on my Onyx maps. It's pretty accurate, but I think I can skirt around that mountain and never get on private property. And uh, yeah, hopefully nobody says anything to me. It's beautiful though. Just think, uh, Geronimo and their tribe, they moved through this country, right through here, probably rode right down through here before. Because right down there on the highway is Fort Selden. And that's where the, 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 the troops were, the cavalry or whatever you call them. The, they said it was con Confederate troops that came through there and uh, that stayed there. And then that was the beginning. Oh, that dog found something to trail, of course. That was the beginning of the Camino Real, or the Coronado del Muerto, Camino Real, whatever the journey to the north that went up that way. I'm gonna ride that on my mule one of these days. I'm gonna take off with a pack mule and go that way. <laughs> anyway, I better move these dogs for they trail us up a line and catch it. <laughs> See how the mule looks like that? She's seen something over there. Oh well. I better go. I came down off of there. I think I'm gonna sit down right over there in the shade and have me some breakfast right there.
Just think, Geronimo probably came right up this canyon before. I'm sure he did. Agnes just stands there. Agnes, take it easy. We'll go right up through there. Be a good climb. We can do it, Agnes. Here we go. Which way do you think, Agnes? Let's try to climb up a little bit. Rode a ways, then I decided I better walk. I'm fixing to ride again. Oh no. I'm one canyon over. It's all right. I can go right up through there and across. And then I'll avoid the private right down there. Whew. I can ride up through there. I could have rode that. I just, I don't take any chances. Both me and Agnes are pretty soft. I think I'll go right to the head of this and then I can jump across and then work my way along that ledge right there and then top out. But I don't know what it's like on the other side. I'd rather just ride on across and I gotta go that way anyway. The only option would be if I get over there and I can't go, I gotta go up again. Which I can do that. I don't want to. I'd rather just side heel on down and then I can find the way to the cave. What do you think, Agnes? Think we can make it down through there? 
as long as I lead you and you don't have to carry me, I think we can. It'll be steep, but once we get down the bottom, it's ice cream ground. Then you can carry me, okay? Is that a deal? When we get down to the bottom, we get on flat country, you can carry me, okay? Don't look away from me like that. See how that thing zigs like that and zags and goes down? That's an old trail. The Fort, Fort Selden, the old Calvary Fort is right over that way. Right there, matter of fact. It's straight across that way. I bet this is the old trail. This is how they used to top out up here. And it's just water, erosion has just got it. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take it, just like Geronimo did. Now who would put a fence right in the middle of my path? I can jump her over it. It's already down everywhere. So what I do is I just take those loose wires that are down and I roll them around themselves. That way it's just, it's just all together and there's not a chance of her sticking her feet in between them. That's why it gets you in a jam. And don't ever look back. <laughs> I, I don't ever look back. <laughs> all right, all we gotta do is work our way across these flats and hit that tall ridge right there. And that cave's right up in those bluffs somewhere. We'll find it. Get a mule in there? I think you can. We'll see. <laughs> Gonna lead you the rest of the way, Agnes? Let me lead her. She's worn smooth out. Well, Geronimo's a lot better shape than we are. <laughs> and their ponies were probably in better shape. This is pretty steep. Get a horse in there. Skinny horse, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, Agnes, it's cooler in here. <laughs> I hope you can turn around in here. Turn around, Agnes, don't fall down. Agnes, get right, right back up here. Not right there. Look at that. She can turn around. She don't like caves either. Ooh. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Okay. The legend of Geronimo's cave. The legend is that the soldiers Agnes don't like caves. The soldiers from Fort Selden, they chased Geronimo up into this cave. That's how it got its name. Well, he went into this cave and they came in looking for him. They never could find him. 
So the legend is that, if, if, I mean, and I'm too big. Geronimo wasn't a very big man. But I've seen guys who've gone way back in there. But I guess if you just go and keep going, you can pop out on the other side of the mountain. And the soldiers tried, but they couldn't figure out how to get through there. I guess you get back in there and there's a maze of stuff back in there. But, yeah. Agnes is leaving me. She don't like caves. I don't know why. She wants grass, that's all. But anyway, that's the legend of Geronimo's cave. I'm going to try to go back in there. Other ways. Excuse me, Agnes. Big room back there. <laughs> no, <laughs> I ain't scared of heights. I'm not scared of a lot of things. And it's really not that I'm scared. I just get claustrophobic. I feel start feeling real drawn in tight. Look at that. I made it. Look at this thing. It's cool. <laughs> Onward and upward, huh?